creatures, spooky Skyrim, she's delicious Aquarius. Welcome to your love tarot reading. This is going to be for you and your person, whatever that means to you. Situationship, relationship, bumble date, marriage. Let's take a look at Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and your person. Please show me angels of love. What is coming through for Aquarius? Uh, also, Aquarius, we are assuming some kind of a rift or separation between you and your boo in these you for some readings, and this is your May 2023 energy. Mmm. <laughs> Aquarius, someone loves you so much. It doesn't matter, you know? Like, there's, it, could be, it could be a separation since Scorpio season last year, you know, since the fall. So it doesn't matter. They've been reminiscing, thinking about you, nostalgic about you. It's just somebody who's thinking about you 347. They think it's over. They can think it's a lost cause. Uh, and they know that they kind of like turned it to ashes. Somebody turned a beautiful love, beautiful, you know, flowers in bloom, the flowers of love and abundance into ashes. And they know they did it to themselves. And it took them a while. I think in the moment when you separated, I think this person was like mad, bad, dangerous to know. They're like, oh, F you Aquarius, whatever. So you got death at the bottom of the deck here. The Grim Reaper and then singlehood. Uh, the Nine of Pentacles right beneath it. Absolutely, you know, this is uh, this is a breakup, you know. The two people went through separate ways. They're like, I'll be fine without you, Aquarius. I'll be okay. Let's just burn this to the ground, burn the bridge. But really look at this person, my baby. You know, they're longing for you. They're missing you. They can't live without you. In the moment, you know, the first couple of weeks, days, hours, you know, whatever your timeline is, they were like, I'll be fine. They're not fine. And they know they caused you a lot of distress. See, this is what they burned down to the ground, the love between the two of you, because this is what they did too, the Nine of Swords. They gave you sleepless nights. Mm, they made you wonder about how dedicated they were to you. They gave you suffering. They gave you worry. They gave you all kinds of horrible anxieties and fears. This person's, person knows they did it to you. Let's see what happened in the past to make the situation. Let's see what they did. Also, Aquarius, welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. If you are new and if you are a returning Blue Angel, thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. I see you, baby. Give mommy a kiss. Mm, give me another kiss, baby. Mm. I love you so much, Aquarius. You know, your mommy's favorite, baby. Oh my gosh. I'm always uh, friends with Aquarius. Is dating an Aquarius. <laughs> always dating an Aquarius, baby. All right, the, wow. This person has a lot of nostalgia in them. It's like, they have good intentions, but it's a bit of a manipulating energy. They caused you a lot of distress, the Nine of Wands. You, Aquarius, I think you ended this. You're like, I can't fight for this anymore. You know, whatever you do, whatever you say. It's like, if it was a bimbo himbo, anyone between you met on Tinder on a Tuesday, they confused you too much in their communication. It was too on and off, it was too, it was like a lot of love. Okay, Monday was love. Tuesday was silence. Wednesday, drama. You know, like it was just very like unreliable energy. You were like, what do you want? You know, what do you want from me? It's like on the one hand, this person was like your ideal soulmate scrumptiousness. I, and I do think you have a soulmate connection. There's like a past life connection here. It doesn't mean you have to be with this person. They just feel very, very, you know, right and true if it's a new energy. Six of Cups, so they, you know, they could have love bombed you a little bit too in the beginning, you know. They just wanted you so much, like you were everything to them. There's something about this person that's manipulative, that's untrue, that's a liar. They could have lied about having other options, they could have lied about other people in their lives, they could have lied about like how single they really were, you know, something like that. Somebody who likes to manipulate, lie unreliable energy and you know remember to take everything with a grain of salt i am just a random woman on the internet with an inflatable alien to the side so baby you know you know your story best so whatever it is that they were lying about you already know because aquarius knows everything because you have that you know global view of self other and the world so you already know anyway that's why you were so exasperated you're like wow could have been someone who's trying to manipulate you very like lowly energy manipulate you in the dms manipulate you in the messages you know, leaving you on red, love bombing, you know, just <sighs> insecure energy. And they kind of pushed it too far. They pushed it too far. You could have been dealing with the Taurus, the Scorpio, or, or Gemini, um, maybe in their big three or in their Venus placements, Mars placements, something like that. 
someone who didn't mean to cause you so much distress, but they did. They, they lied. They, they obfuscated this, the truth in some kind of a way. Manipulation. Manipulation. The minute they met you, they knew you were the one. Could be someone married who lied about not being married. You know your story best. If it was a more established connection, this is someone who was just like always like, you know, someone who's like always giving you love, like and saying nice things, saying the right things, and saying we belong together and all this. You know, you could have been married to this person. But then when it came to like, you know, little things, they were very unreliable. This is almost like a chronic liar or manipulator. And it's almost like they don't mean to be like that, but that's what they are. And it's like, it never ends. Like the lies never end. There's lies are at stake here. Manipulation. It was just exhausting to uh, Aquarius. It was just so exhausting. You couldn't take it anymore. And it just like blew your mind because on the one hand, you know, this person was, you know, like you could tell, you could feel how much they love you. You know, they loved you so deeply. And on the other hand, you were like, well, this is exhausting because the lies, you never, you never knew where you stood. The truth was hidden and it was manipulation and caused you so much distress. The page of wands here, here for your person, you know what, the cards are falling down. So, you know, house of cards flew down. The page of wands, they want to have a new beginning and they want to communicate with you. That's their intention and they will be doing that. The higher font, still probably in Taurus season, this is your May 23 energy. Someone is coming in to communicate, to reconcile. They want reconciliation because all they think about is you. That's why they want the reconciliation. They're probably gonna say something like, you know, you need to help me or, or I need you to help me to change. What you wanna do with that Aquarius is up to you. It's all about free will on this channel. You know, um, whether you want to help this person change, whether that, you know, that is your job or whether you should be moving on to pastures new is up to you. But they're gonna say something like, you have the key to my heart no matter what and I can't live without you. I'll bit though. But you know, just remember, there's always another bus coming, just saying. Okay, anyways, Aquarius, this is what I have for you today. Let me know in the comments below if this is your story. Also, if you vibe with my channel and you appreciate my videos, why not subscribe, turn on the notification button, and like the video. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. See you in the live tonight, Saturday light, night, <laughs> dead, <laughs> dead and alive. We're doing a necromantic tarot. We're doing love questions. We're doing questions for the spirits of the dead. It's going to be a bonanza as always, uh, probably uh, going to go on all night. So uh, join me, my baby. I'll see you next time. Oh, and the music on this channel is by Gondora Official. Shout out to Gondora Official. Her link, the link to her channel is in the description box below. She's an amazing tarot reader. Check her out. She is my magical sister. I'll see you next time. Stay sparkly, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect. Mm-hmm. <laughs>